No, Sue, you must be kidding me! And these are just special effects. Sammy, believe me, it is possible to make an animation yourself. You only need to figure out the process. Oh! No problem with that. I like figuring things out. I'm happy to see you so enthusiastic, Sammy. Right. I need to get everything ready. I think I've got some thick cardboard. And me? What should I bring? Bring me some skewers and, yes, a small plastic tube. I'll be right back. Well, let's get started. Right. This is our base material. And these are the tools we need. Hi, guys! Today, Sam and I will be making a flipbook animation machine. Have you ever tried drawing simple animations in a notepad? Give a thumbs up if you have! Here, Sue! I found the skewers, though now we can forget about kebabs. These are all the skewers we've got! It's all right, Sammy. We'll restock later. What about the tube? Like this? Oh, no, Sammy. That's a drinking straw. I'll get one myself later. Sue, I think I understand how to assemble the machine. But where do all the pictures come from? And how to put them together? Hmm. Well, I think I understand. Though we'll need to work on that. Right. Let's assemble the base of the machine. And then we'll figure out how the pictures work. Let's begin! First of all, we'll make the bottom part. We need to measure a rectangle 23 by 13 centimeters. And measure strips 2 centimeters wide inside the rectangle and cut them off. Remember to be careful! I always remember! That's why I delegate this dangerous work to you, Susie! Oh, I don't even know if I should be happy or sad about that! Right, the parts are ready! Now I need to glue them together! I've been wondering if our viewers use hot glue. Pause the video and reply. Do you use a hot glue gun? Are you careful when working with it? And I'll read your comments later! I like working with hot glue. It's so strong, you can glue anything with it and even make a piece you need. And it's just mesmerizing. And we need to glue this piece of flexible cardboard on top. Carefully. The base is done! And now? And now we're going to draw. Oh, that's unexpected. This is the part we're going to need. You can't draw it with a ruler. Oh, it's for the side holders, right? That's right! We are going to need four parts. Hey! I said four parts! Done! Wow! You're really good at this. Thanks, Sammy! I'm doing my best! <laughs> right. Let's glue two side parts together. And then, onto the base. we'll add a strip of cardboard on top. One. And two. The part is ready! Susie! Is it time for the pictures yet? Yes, Sammy, it is. Because we can't go on without them. So, to make an animation out of pictures, you need to select a fragment of a video that can be repeated over and over. Animation is made of pictures that change each other. Usually there are 24 frames in one second, but it'll be enough to have 12 frames per second for our machine. By frames, do you mean pictures? Yes, that's right! The video we're going to be showing in our machine lasts for about 3 seconds, and we'll need 40 pictures for it. <gasps> 40 pictures?! Looks like animating is a very difficult job. Do you want to become an animator, Sammy? Well, I thought about it. Then keep watching! To make our pictures turn over automatically, we need to assemble them in a special way. I'll use these three pictures as an example. We need to connect the top of the picture with the bottom of the previous frame, like this. I'll tape them together. And voila! When we flip them, they're going to make the correct frame. Do we need to cut all the pictures like this and switch them? Yes! But not with scissors and tape, but with Photoshop or any other suitable computer program. <laughs> Come on! <gasps> so interesting! I can't wait to see this pile of pictures start moving! Patience, my friend. We need to insert the skewers you brought into them. Look, we'll apply some glue on the upper part of the picture. Then place a skewer in and fold them in half carefully. And we get this rotating frame! We need to do the same with the rest of the pictures. Charge! What a pile! 
How do we attach it to the animation machine? We'll need wheels for that. Let's draw a circle 4.5 centimeters in diameter. Now let's measure 4 centimeters and draw another circle, a smaller one. It'll be a guideline. Then, we need to measure half a centimeter and make holes with the help of the compass, half a centimeter apart from each other, along the guideline. In the end, we'll get 40 holes which matches the number… …of the brains we've prepared! That's right, Sammy! There should be a hole in the middle, too, like the one on the sides. We need to make four parts like this. And glue them together in twos. <laughs> oh, no, Sammy, I'm sorry, but a straw can't support this structure. <sighs> well, fine. We need this kind of tube. Let's insert it into the opening and put the wheels on. I've cut two small wheels to secure the structure. So great! And we'll need a handle for convenience. It's made of these parts. Boom! Done! We'll attach it to our machine. <gasps> it works! It works, but uh, it doesn't show anything. Yep, now we need to insert the frames we've prepared into the openings on the wheels. Keep working and I'll go get some popcorn! Ah, <sighs> this is very monotonous work, but it has to be done very carefully. The pictures should be attached one over the other from the first to the last. I'm ready to watch! Oh, one moment. Action! That there aren't any special effects in this, only hard work. As in any interesting job, Sammy. Listen, what if I want to make a longer animation? Well, the machine has to be bigger. <sighs> Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends. Bye bye Guys, Sam and I have already started shooting our next video. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button not to miss it. Do you like cartoons? Give us a like if you do. I bet all of you tried to make your own cartoon at least once in your lifetime and bring it to life like we once did. I remember that cartoon machine, Sue. We had so much fun making it. But today we're making the advanced version of it, so to say. A super cool cartoon machine. Look what I've got. Holy cannoli, Susan, check out all these gears and pieces! Yes, yeah, Sammy, there's plenty of them, so let's get started. At first, we're gonna need these three square cut parts with protrusions. We'll need to attach them to this circle part. All right, Susie, Master Sam is ready with the hot glue! <laughs> Sammy, we're not using any glue today. All fasteners are already provided. <sighs> Oh, don't be sad, Master Sam. You'd better find some rubber bands. We're gonna need them. Consider it done. Now, guys, we'll insert these pieces into these little holes so that all the protrusions are looking outward. Here's what we've got. Phew! That's all I found! You're just in time. Check out these rubber bands, guys. They're different colors and sizes. We'll take the green one and secure the pieces from this side like that. That's better. Now we'll secure the same circle part here from the other side. And fix it with the same rubber band. Poof! We'll use the smallest rubber band to secure it like that. Now that's what we've got. Oh, 
Oh, see, didn't you forget something? One more circle part! You're right, Sammy. This goes here. Okay, guys, the center, or rather the heart, of our cartoon machine is ready. It's time to move on to its body. This one is the base of the whole thing, and this is the sidewall. Click! Whoa, so many slots and holes! I never have thought that this is a part of a machine that'll show cartoons! It surely will. Okay, Sammy, now let me secure this. And we'll do the same with rubber bands right here. Hey, it's time for the tiny parts! Oh, my precious! I love tiny parts. Phew, there's so many pieces here. I'm already a bit tired of putting them together. Now we need tubes. Say no more, I've got an army of them! <laughs> Sammy. Hey guys, give Sammy a thumbs up, and I need to attach one more piece here. And done! Hop! We're done with this part, guys. Now we need to attach the centerpiece to it using a couple of tubes. Sammy! The tubes are here! Oh, that's nice. We'll take one at first and close its end with a special rivet and a circle. You see, Sammy, it sits tight and no hot glue needed. Now that's what I call a neat craft. You can see more of these on our channel. Just click subscribe! Okay, all done. We'll put it away for now. And we'll take the second wall to attach this handle to it. Just make sure that the arrow drawn here is facing you. All right. Now turn the piece and secure the handle with a special part like that. Huh. I suspect that something's missing here. <gasps> the gear, of course! How'd you figure that out? Cut out too. The gear has just the same ones as the previous part does. Well done, Sammy. You're so attentive. This gear indeed goes right here. All right, we're ready to finally get all the parts of the cartoon machine together. We'll attach this sidewall first. Carefully, everything should fit tight. And then insert the tube and secure it on the other side with two parts. It should hold really well. Now we'll secure the sidewall with rubber bands here and here. <laughs> Easy. Whoa, shoot, that was really fast! But uh, how will this show me cartoons? Be patient, Sammy. Could you bring me the other tube, please? Yep. And we'll assemble it just like we did with the first one, remember? A rivet and a circle. Nice. It'll help secure this teeny tiny gear. Be attentive, guys. It's really important that all the gear teeth fit exactly between the teeth of the big and medium gears. Now the easy part. Attach this curved piece here. Suzy, look what I found! Well done, Sammy! These will secure the piece from the top. This one goes here. And this one here. Here's our little circle. And one more rivet. Hop! So this piece really looks like a key. Are we gonna lock the cartoon machine? Can't it stay open? <laughs> no, Sammy. Give me that, please. Check this out. We'll insert the key here. Do you see this special notch? It's for the key. We'll secure it with rubber bands from both sides using a handy tool. Man, <laughs> there's so many rubber bands today, huh? <laughs> then we'll pull it out and leave it here. I feel like something's missing here. Oh, I found it! Good job, Sammy. Let's attach this part from the back, just like before. Click, click, click. Okay, who's ready to watch cartoons? It's impossible not to be ready for this! Yay! Let's see. We have two sets of cartoons. I mean, two sets of cartoon frames. Which one goes first? Let's see. Um, I'd say this guy goes first. Okay, yeah. I like this one, too. Each frame has its number, guys. It's done so that we put everything in the right order, but let's get rid of this extra paper first. And done! We'll take the very first frame and put it into the notches, making sure that it's sitting tightly. Now we'll make a slight turn and put frame number two. Like that. We're gonna do this with all the frames. Phew! 
done! 36 pictures of the little guy are here! You meant 36 frames of the cartoon? <sighs> yes, that's right, Tammy. Now we'll insert the key piece right here. Click. And start turning the handle. Shiver me cheddars, that guy's running! Hey, don't turn the handle too fast or he'll run away! <laughs> Sammy! Okay, so maybe let's watch the second cartoon? Oh yeah, come on, bring it on! A bit of magic here… Come on, Sue! <laughs> wow, well, Sammy, look! This girl is dancing! I call this the real magic. So, Sammy, do you like our cartoon machine? Huh, well, yes, but… But… Uh, what, Sammy? I don't know… Something's missing… Maybe? <gasps> what do you say about this boombox? Oh, I gotcha, Sammy. Come on. We've got some stuff to do. You know what, guys? Sam's right. The best cartoons are always so colorful, so why don't we add color to our cartoon machine as well? We'll make it the brightest one! Magic will help here. All right, we're ready to design. The sketch goes first. I think a movie theme will be perfect. Now the colors! Oh, by the way, did you know that the very first cartoon for children was created at the end of the 19th century? Really? Yeah, but back then it wasn't a drawn cartoon. The director put together a few toys, and then took a shot, and then moved the toys a bit, took another shot, and so on. Each shot was slightly different than the Jeez, other. Jeez, it took forever to create one single cartoon! <sighs> no, no, Susie! I can't wait for that long! I have to make a contribution to the animation world today! No, not today. Right now! Uh, where's my pencil? <laughs> Sammy! Beware and behold! The king has issued a cartoon! <laughs> Sammy! Um, oh, sorry, your slimeness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see what you're gonna say after watching my creation. And we'll also see how many likes this video will get. Okay, Sammy, I won't laugh, I promise. Maybe we should watch your cartoon in a proper atmosphere. What do you say? The king says, it shall be so. Okay, Sammy. I'm ready. Sure you don't need anything? Absolutely. Bang! Action! Holy cannoli, Sammy! It's genius! 